Justin I revived the alliance with the Kingdom of Lazica, part of modern-day Georgia, which ended roughly 50 years of allegiance to the Sasanian Empire. It was due to the last king, Zaf. With the Sasanian Shah, Kuwait I, increasing power and influence in defeating the Hephthalites and the Mastikites, he wanted to spread the influence of Zoroastrianism to the Caucasian kingdoms. However, Zazab changed it by going to Constantinople, not Persia, to make formal arrangements to begin his kingship. I will mention five crucial insights with the events and evidence into the alliance between Justin I and Lassica. Number 1. Justin I and Saf in Constantinople. Justin I and the last king, Saf, met in Constantinople in 521 or 522. Saf received his coronation and aligned with the Eastern Roman Empire, which broke a half century of being a client state to the Sasanians. He gained the imperial purple and had Justin's images to indicate the realignment. In addition, he received baptism. But he might have been a Christian already, since Lazica was mainly Christian. It seemed more likely, as a symbol to refuse, Sasanian Shah, Kuwait I, for imposing Zoroastrianism in the neighboring kingdoms from the Caucasus. On the other hand, not being baptized was also probable, but he may already be a Christian. Number 2. Results and Effects Under this alliance, Lassica was under Roman protection, but unlike other states, it did not pay tribute to the Eastern Roman Empire. Another boon for Zaf was marrying the daughter of Nomus the Patrician, Valeriana. Also, it was a significant ally due to Roman control over the Black Sea region and was closer to them geographically. In addition, Lassica provided a strategic location against the Sasanians and economic incentives which would be in my final insight. For Lassica, administration improved in the Caucasus. On the Persian side, Lassica was for expansion and weakening Roman influence. Because of the defection of Lassica, Kuwait sent his Lachman Arab allies to raid the Eastern Roman frontier. Also, Kuwait sent a Persian envoy, Celsus, to the frontier between the two empires. He accused Justin of using force to accept Lassica and claimed it was their client state. However, this accusation was false, but served as a provocation to raise tensions and a shift to a more of a hawkish policy influenced by Justinian from the Roman side. A Persian magistrate, Meobodus, blamed Celsus and suffered execution. The events would have taken place in 524 or 525. Number 3. Pre-Iberian War On the eve of the Iberian War of 526 to 532, the Romans helped to improve Lassica's defenses, Serapanis, Scanda, and Petra. In 525, there were border disputes between the Caucasian kingdoms and the Sasanians due to their alliance with the Eastern Roman Empire. To aid in the effort, Justin sent the former secretary, Peter, as the commander and Hunnic auxiliaries to help the Iberian king, Gurgen, in Lazica due to retreating from Iberia because of Persian attacks. The Roman assistance came from Armenia and abroad, and Justin's motive for not sending Roman troops was to avoid a direct confrontation with the Sasanians and a diplomatic breach from 20 years of peace after the Anastasian War. Also, the Huns and the Transcaucasus was customary. Number 4. Iberian War During the Iberian War, the Sasanians conquered Serapanus and Scanda due to supply problems. Procopius of Caesarea named Irenaeus as the commander at that time. 
As a response, Justin sent Thomas Gazas to lead defensive measures. This took place before Justin's death in 527. Number 5. Lassica's Economy Procopius of Caesarea gave a negative and inaccurate account of Lassica's economy. It was not poor, but rich. Due to goods like salt, grain, metals, and luxury wine imports. Also, what we call today as free trade existed during late antiquity and became more prominent as an issue during the Lassic War of 541 to 562 between Justinian I and Khosrow I. Number 6. 